Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another play commentary of Wonder Over Yonder Season 1 Episode 20 and 21, surprisingly enough. At least that's the plan, if I don't pause this episode, the first episode, too much and just make it go over 20 minutes. But yes, that will, it will be one of these, like, double episodes. So I'm hopefully gonna continue doing these as much as often as possible, and because the episodes are very clearly paired, like, these two were named Night and Day. Uh, that will be quite nice to see how these go. Hopefully they are in the right order. Well, uh, yeah. I wonder how this, like, what this will be about. It might be something really good. Or something really bad. You know, something rather mediocre. You know, something that the show just does well. You know, as per usual. Let's just start, start with the show. No, oh, Lord Hader is actually actually going to be involved here. That is pretty good. Uh, Already, he creates for Sleeping. good drama. Nervous, some people. Or good comment. Wonder, we good could jokes money. at the very least. Just get out of here. <laughs> Adorable. I napped as well. I was catching some seas. Oh, I can't believe I slept through it. You, however, you can sleep through anything. But heck, when you're really beat, nothing can. Wake mm. you up. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, wake up, buddy. I do have a suspicion what this will be it's about. Be a long day. It wouldn't be surprising if t if these two episodes turned out to be Sylvia first trying to wake one drop and then trying to get Walt Walt Wonder to go to sleep. Come on, time to wake up. I mean that I think that would be the most expected outcome. Even if that is rather bare bones. Also, those are some dancing notes right there. Those are pretty good sleeping gifts, I suppose. Couple of sleepyheads. Come on, little buddy. Time to get vaporized. Bam! Really? Oh. I thought Hater was gonna dip them in lava. No, lava pits on the fritz. Aw, oh, man. I love the lava. I know, I know, but vaporization's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Time to bust out of this skull. Well, that's quite a good landing, isn't it? I, there's something about Wonder's physique that just makes it so much, so fitting. I suppose it's because he lo looks like fudge, I suppose. I'm not even kidding, he looks like a bit like a fudge to me. Uh, although I was not expecting that. So, okay. <laughs> More like soap then. Why would... How do... <laughs> Wander the cave. Isn't that a... A bad... How do you do that? Is that gonna be like an x-ray chain? Oh. Something worse, a locker room. <laughs> shaving an eyeball. No, I'm not gonna pass that by. That's a joke, but you're shaving an eye... Okay, okay. It's actually pretty nice how they are just using a, a little animation, you know, like fluid body motions, like making the, you know, stretching their bodies unnaturally to make them seem more fluid-like than anything, to make for funny jokes, even though they actually try to have some realistic body measures as well. But, let's just continue. A side... Uh, side note. Yeah. 
<laughs> she truly is the solid snake. Like we're doing it your way. Bring it on, you little monsters! Oh, gross! Can a lady get some towels? <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> okay, first of all, a <laughs> Okay, it's a dick joke, whatever. That's just a dick joke. Second of all, that is pretty, that's actually pretty funny. Third of all, that's an immaculate freeze frame, isn't it? That looks so straight. <laughs> that's... Well, that is a work of art, like something straight out of Picasso's, um, a, what, Atelier? Truly a magnificent piece of art. I know I'm just staring at a wall in reality, but still. I meant around your waists! <laughs> uh, my bad. Yeah, that makes way more sense. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, she's quite an efficient fighter. Music is always kind of a copyright thing, so I'm just I have to mute that for a second there too. But uh, try actually, I'm just gonna mute it over this montage. Even though this music is absolutely hilarious, music is often far too copyrighted. But then this music is actually rather fitting for this. Rather reminiscent of a bit more older style of cartoons now, isn't it? That sounds. That seemed a that bit dangerous. She, he really didn't wake up with that. <laughs> you think that's gonna work? <laughs> Worst idea I've ever had. Yeah. Oh no! This is truly a dark day for Sylvia. I can't believe I have been captured. <laughs> <gasps> Here, let me get that. <laughs> Wait, this. And what do we say when somebody helps us? Uh, thank you, sir. That's more like it. I see we finally captured that hideous Zabornak. Actually, while she may not be conventionally beautiful, many people find her personality and strength of character to be very attractive. <laughs> Is what she would say. She would totally say something dumb <laughs> and corny like that. Oh, you're all right, soldier. What's your name? It's... No, you stop an evil pineapple king. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Boring conversation anyway. That also is quite violent. Finally, the main hanger. Living out of the teeth like that, or mouth like that, that looks actually quite hmm. nice. Now I just need to find a way to mash through these molars. Wander? Wander? Wander! Sleepwalker, huh? You found the hanger release. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was about that comment, but that's something like that could be like in a video game, like, oh, wonder, you found the hanger release. 
That that sounds just wonderful. Glowing red cookie. No, 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 no. You do deserve a high five. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fast response. That's a really fast response. Nope. Oh. Smooth. Later, Hater. Energy fit. Okay. Need way to recapture them. That's force field generator. Booyah! Super expensive. Couldn't pay papers for months, but the looks on your faces. Do 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 do. Oh, black! Totally worth it. As long as this baby's on, you're never getting out of here. <laughs> Wonder, buddy. I know you're probably off dreaming of French fried flowers and dolphins, but I really need you to wake up right now. All right, weirdo, let's get moving. Whoa. Or do I? Sick of sleepy head! They really got. Hey, he's like a looped up weirdo! <laughs> looped up weirdo. <laughs> What? <laughs> Wonder, the cheese tower is turning into narwhal bacon. What? My most hated nemesis. You've come to face me, face to face to face. Uh, that's sleep money. Watch out! Three noodles are considering buying plated khakis. <laughs> that's a, that's wonderful sleep manipulation. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Face button. Okay. Is that it? Hmm. You seem to have written a nuclear bomb. I just feel so awake! You know when the sun's setting, but you just feel energetic! Zestful, perky, indefatigable! Switch? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was actually pretty, that was, that was pretty funny. Oh, I wasn't actually expecting them to like, switch roles like that, but that's actually pretty, that, that, that is funny. That certainly is really quite funny, and I do appreciate it. That's a rather creative way to create an episode, and certainly does show how Sylvia can almost solely carry us. Carry their scenes by themselves. Although I suppose a sleeping one, like Wonder is just it's, that. That's a really creative use of just Wonder's physiology like that. But let's get on with the second episode itself. I just feel so awake. You know, yeah. The sun setting, but you just feel energetic, zestful, perky. Almost a direct continuation, huh? Even though a few repeated seconds there, but Sylvia? still. So, Sylvia? But, huh? I'm, I'm here, south of us. We should probably camp here, huh? Oh, is that nap I took? After a big nap, I always have trouble going back to sleep, but nap just feels so good! I'm all right. Yeah, this is all up! Woo, nap! Bump, bump, bump. Okay. Oh, 
Sometimes you wake up and there's that gunk in your eye and your mouth tastes weird. I want to get this funny crick, my fourth vertebrae. Did you get a crick in your fourth? Look, buddy, I know you're jazzed and all, but today was totally nuts and I really need a solid shut eye session. Uh, the that's... Box for the night. Of course. I suppose, like, having, like, having two different sleeping schedules actually would definitely mess you up. Not me, but, like, for so most. Sorry. See? No talking. <sighs> hmm. Well, he got bored quickly. I'll just be sitting here, just playing my banjo. Yeah, and how friendly. That's a rather enthralled look on his face. In case I wasn't clear, I need peace and quiet tonight, okay? And when I say peace and quiet, I mean really peaceful and really quiet. Can you help me with that? Sylvia, my friend, for you, I'm gonna make this the quietest night! That's what I was saying. <laughs> nice title drop. Thanks. I really appreciate it. <sighs> uh, what, what kind of actual, like, animal... What kind of creature is even Sylvia to sleep in that kind of position? That That's like what... That is rather reminiscent of cats. Oh, surprising. Oh, well. I mean, her name was mentioned in the previous episode. But still. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that's rather nice now, isn't it? That shows the differences in methods between the two characters now, doesn't it? That could be deadly. <laughs> wait, how did how? Uh, wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! How did how did he? What that that was a river? How do? Cartoon logic. Why? Why? Why am I questioning this? But he called a. I suppose that shows how much of a. Uh, um, friendly nature Walt, Walt uh, Wonder has. He's able to freaking communicate with nature. Yes. Okay. <laughs> First of all, he shushed fire out. Second of all, let me hear that again. <laughs> That's adorable. Apologies for me. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Buying off a cricket. Hmm. <laughs> Just bribing them. They are just miniatures, so... <laughs> the the, the disappe disappearance was quite nice. Mm.
<laughs> He's so... Yeah, slight overreaction to your own bodily functions. Okay. Oh, what a... it's just... <laughs> That's surprisingly effective silencer, isn't it? How fast are you? That's ridiculous. Come on, it's not that nightmarish. Aren't those adorable? Also, nice silence screaming. Actually, one. Hey, Carol, I swear you'd forget your own deadly venom sack if it wasn't attached to your thorax. That's actually really wonderful that they gave even those little creatures life like that. That's that's actually pretty freaking adorable. That's that's oh, nice. Yeah! How have you two lived together like that? Convenient. Sylvia? Sylvia? Sylvia! Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia! Okay. And surprise hater. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Capturing Sylvia again. <laughs> Trying to bring her in while she's asleep, okay. <laughs> Silent communication, <laughs> wonderful. Just a huge gold going like that. Nice. Well, the ending hijinks here. Just firing lasers away, okay. okay.
<laughs> well, that's just a bubble tree. It's not that bad. Nice. <laughs> Triple kill. Wait, did I? Um, Wander? Shh, he's sleeping. Nervous, some people. Wait! Us. Wait! Shake your deadly Interchange! Shake your deadly venom sack. <laughs> shake, shake. These ending credits are always quite shake. wonderful. Interchangeable shake, episodes shake, like that. Shake okay. Your deadly venom sack. Shake venom sack. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that, but that's actually kinda nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Very well. I'm really glad I decided to do these two in a pair. Because they are really really actually that's so they are so smoothly interchangeable that is absolutely fantastic. They just flow into one another really quite well. I, yeah, I really do like it. I really, really like how they were both constructed so that they could be basically interchangeable as you wish. Although they did have a clear structure to them, it's still nice to have that kind of interchanging. I, I much preferred the second episode, the night. Yeah. I I did like that mo a bit more, but the first episode was actually I did like that. I I I really do like these two. These are really quite fantastic. Not only in the both actually like having one of the, some of the best comedy so far, which is saying quite a bit considering how funny it actually is, but also because it actually shows how easily you can just weave characterization into a simple story like this, like. They, it is like these two episodes really easily showcase the differences of method methodology between the two main characters. Like Sylvia prefers violence and more straight confrontational methods, even if they sometimes may require a bit more stealth or something like that. While as um, shall we say, Wonder is a bit more diplomatic than that, and it's nice. It's using differences of using brute strength or brute force or cunning like that. Physical ab ab abilities against just cunning and um, more more fine or exquisite approaches, I suppose. That's it, it, It's nice to see these kinds of two, two differences to characters. Now, I absolutely love the second half sound design. The second episode had such a Majority of its jokes were told with sounds, and that is quite clever. The fact that they had so little dialogue in the second half is just fantastic, and shows how how creative and how good the team can be, and they can how much they can just portray with, well, basically the animation and sound design alone, without needing any excessive dialogue. And this also shows what's the strength of an audiovisual medium, that you can tell a story without dialogue, without having anything written out for you. It's quite, quite proficient. I, I, I mean, I suppose that is the theme of the show, it is proficient always. And it knows how to use different styles of storytelling to carry over the messages that they want, and... Yeah, it's nothing new, but it certainly is... This just showcases how well they can execute with both method methods of, well, it's just having action and a wide variety of different plans of approach, different uh, in a like interlaced with actually kind of an interesting style of storytelling without any words. And it's like it, it, these two episodes go really quite well together. I'm like really happy that I decided to do them like this, or yeah. Or rather, I was told. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, it's good. It's good. I don't. I don't have anything bad to say about them. I mean, they. 
do have, like, I do feel like they didn't have, actually, if I have to give something bad about them, I would say that they didn't exactly have the best pacing, however. Mostly in the way that the second, the first episode started off, uh, be it on the stranger side of pacing, that, uh, and, while, and the second half started to waver on the latter half of the episode. But those are minor complaints, and uh, pacing is r almost always very, well, opinion-based. So, don't place any weight on that. But yeah, I really do like it. It's though th These two episodes were quite fantastic, and I'm probably going to do more double episodes together, th or two episodes together in the future, because these episodes are usually built in, like, to have be pa in pairs, so, you know. Now, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you all in the future. Have a great day. Stay awesome. We're gonna move. Oh, thank you very much for watching.